Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript learning series. In this video, we are going to learn about JavaScript array filter function. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the filter method creates a shallow copy of a portion of a given array. Filter down to the just the element from the given array that pass the test implemented by the provided function. So let's understand this with some example. Let's first see the expression of filter function. Array dot filter, which will have the callback function. And this will have element indexed array. And here we have uh, expression. This expression should return either true or false value so based on that uh, if, the, if it this expression return the true value this particular element will be considered as a part of the new result array otherwise this is going to be omit so this basically this element is not going to include in that result array so this is the basic expression for the filter function now let's take one example now here i have one variable uh, one array which will have the value one to five now let's say if i want uh, the new array which will have only the values which are even and i don't i basically i don't want uh, odd numbers from this particular array array elements and i only want the array of the even numbers so using field let's try with filter function const result equal to num dot filter and here i'm going to pass element and the expression should be element mod to equal equal to zero so here as we know that uh, if the number mod to equal equal to zero that means that number is the even number so that will going to return the true and that is going to the part of our result array so let's cut solve that result clear the console and run the code so if you can see we here we have the array of 2 and 4 so we have that 1 3 and 5 is not included similar you can use not equal equal to if we want the array of the odd numbers and let's run the code we can say like we have the 1 3 and 5 now let's take another example let's say i have an array const basically this is the object array where of the each object contains the property city and the state so now let's say i want uh, only from this particular array i want only the list which will have the uh, let's say Gujarat uh, only state is Gujarat only I only want uh, all the elements with uh, which value state equal to Gujarat so let's try that Gujarat result equal to obj dot filter here i am going to use like this state and i only want state property from that particular object and state equal equal to gujarat
console.log let's print the output clear the console and run the code so you can see we have the new array which will have uh, only values from Ahmedabad and Surat which is belongs to Gujarat state then we have other values like Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Telangana all are like excluded from this list now one more thing like as per the definitions like whatever the result array which will we got from the filter function that is going to be the shallow copy of uh, this particular provided array so what that mean is let's take an example and try to understand so i will create a separate video uh, on the shallow copy and the deep copy but uh, in short if i can explain the shallow copy means if i am going to change anything on the result value this is going to affect our actual uh, that root object so let's say i am going to change uh, uh, let me console first the our actual object here first let me here type before and I am going to uh, let's try to edit this value that I am the bad one so it's index is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so obj5 dot city so before we have the Ahmedabad now I am going to change this value Gujarat result of 0 which is going to be Ahmedabad dot city equal to plus or uh, let me add or I would say clean clean and that now I'm going to console again the same console after and let's clear the console and try console dot log sorry yep so if you can see here let me add a space So if you can see I, here I have changed the result array but still it's affect our original array obj from which we got the result array as a filter output so that means whatever result we received from the filter it is going to be the shallow copy of the original array object or the original array so that means that filter is going to return the shallow copy of the original array i hope this uh, concept is clear now uh, i hope i hope the filter function is clear and uh, so yeah see you guys on the next video with some other topic till then happy programming